that SBIs have a heavy, heavy impact on your business. In the U.S. alone, SBIs destroy at least 10% of our food supply every year. In third world countries, that's 50% or more of the food supply that they attack. Okay, so, and, and they attack that in different ways. Spoilage and loss of commodity. So they, they consume the food. They alter the taste of the food. Now, here's the thing. If you have an infestation of SBIs, it's important to keep in mind that SBIs are a symptom of a condition. In other words, if you have something going, if you have an SBI infestation, there's something going on in that facility. So it might be a sanitation issue. It might be there's a, a, a crack in, the, in an opening somewhere. Maybe there's a broken seal and they're getting in. It could be excessive moisture. It could be excessive temperature. But it, it's a symptom of a condition. And you've got to identify that. They have different habitat preferences. They've got different food preferences. That allows us to customize an IPM program. And when I talk about customizing an IPM program, an IPM program in general, so integrated pest management is probably a term you're all familiar with. But again, that's not just spraying and praying. Um, th there's a whole, a whole uh, program with different major components that make up integrated pest management that you've got to touch on in order to be successful. Uh, so you've got monitoring, so putting out monitors that might be specific to the different SBIs out there, knowing what you have, setting thresholds for control. You've got the chemical component. You've got the non-chemical component. So that's sanitation, vacuuming, cleaning, could be environmental controls. Combine that with expertise. You've got to know about the pest. You've got to know what you're dealing with. You have to know biology and behavior so you can hit them where it hurts. You've got to know what they're feeding on, where they like to live, and you combine that. Um, you've got your, your, your data so you can stay on top of everything, and you've got your, your expert insight. We need to start looking at our data differently. We have over six and a half billion pieces of pest control information in a single cloud system. This is updating almost nine million records every single day right across the world. We're partnering with the best in the industry to help protect our data. Safety and security is at the heart of this design. And we make this data accessible to our colleagues so that they can help your sites stay pest free. We quite often talk about big data, but quite often it's the small data. It's those small data stories that are really, really powerful. And this is why the service we provide, and again, back to linking the technology um, and the expertise together, if we take a particular customer site and start to define those risk areas on that site, start to understand by common naming conventions the food production hall, the warehousing, the logistics part of your building, can we start to see at a micro level what's happening at your site? Because quite often, the environments are also creating pests to move around within the same building. And that's another key part of pest management. This is for illustration purposes, but what you can start to see is, is there a trend at the bottom part of this building versus the top part of the building? You can see the top is generally clear. These could be office environments and spaces where there's no reason for SPIs to live. But in the bottom part, we could start to see hotspots. And what are the hotspots in this particular diagram? It's the location points that our colleagues visit with their smartphones and record all that information. So we have a backdrop of the date, the time, what we found, the pest activity, right down to that species level, cigarette beetle or meal moth or biscuit beetle. Everything that we capture at that location at that time is down on your site. And then we can start to look at this remotely and empower our experts in the field to start working with you to see if there's common problems in that particular part of the building.